Well, the first boss I, pers- I ever s- saw and s- waved to was uh, the chin. And now it's a funny story because when I was a kid, um, my father first started taking me around to the clubs. We were in Manhattan and we were in the Ravenite and uh, he had to go over to Sullivan Street to see somebody at the chin's club that was where he stood. And uh, he had to go over there for something and he took me one of them and we went over there to, to the club on Sullivan Street on the west side of Manhattan. And uh, we went into this club and there was a few wise guys there that were with that crew. And, you know, my father talked to them, did what he had to do. When we walked out, there was a guy across the street in a bathroom. And there was another guy with him and they were walking a dog. And the guy with the bathroom waved to my father. And my father waved back. And as we were walking to the car, I told my father, who was that guy in the bathroom that just waved to you? And he laughed and he goes, that's the chin. I said, the chin? He goes, yeah, he walks around with a bathroom. You know, he was making out he was nuts. And then my father started telling me stories about him. So he was the first boss I came in contact with. But the sec- the boss that I met, personally ever met in person, was uh, Paul Castellano in 1977. The first time I met him was a fr- my one of my brother's friends, one of my brother's best friends had gotten killed, murdered, across the street from my house. And... Um, by another crew, by uh, actually by, I think it was the Colombo family. And um, Paul sent for my father and my father and myself and his partner, Tony Lee and Nikki Carraza and Lenny. Um, we went to Brooklyn to Paul's club and, uh, and my father had to go sit down with him. So that was the first time I met him face to face. And the second time I met him was he actually attended my wedding that same year in October of 77. He came to my wedding and he gave me an envelope of $500 in it. So he was the first boss that I ever had any interaction with. Um, then I met Rusty. He was the boss of the uh, Banana family. He was very, very good friends with my father. I met him. Um, I had numerous conversations with Joe Messina when he became the boss of the Bananas because I knew him from since I was a kid. Um, I used to see him in the diner all the time. He would pick up my check. I had a really good relationship with him. Um, and John, of course, I was very, very close to John. Um, so those are the bosses that I actually had relationships with, um, throughout my life. And, and of course I had relationships with underbosses also. Uh, 